Well, I, I kind of stumbled into it. I absolutely had a mentor. Uh, Elliot Erwitt was always my hero growing up, and uh, fortunately he's also become a friend over the years. But I started off just because photography was a fun thing to do, and I thought I'd move on to the next thing. But what I've loved over the years is every day is different. It's always a different experience, and it's always fresh. I just love exploring and meeting new people and finding out a little bit of it. It's like I can't think of anything more rewarding than as a portrait photographer to drop in the lives of all types of people for, you know, five minutes, an hour, or a day. Um, that's what I really love to do. Before a shoot, I always completely stress out and worried about it. Uh, during the shot, um, I'm just having a lot of fun with the subject, and as soon as it's over, I'm trying to think of like, what picture did I miss? So I'm basically the, the uh, neurotic photographer who's uh, only happy when they're taking photographs. But um, I've, I've gotten better over the years about not stressing out and really enjoying it and making it the best photograph we can make at any given moment. Like one of the coolest things of being a Sony artisan is we get to try out all the new gear like right at the start. So I've started in the program using the uh, Alpha 900, the Alpha 99, but uh, the, the latest piece of gear that I'm really, really geeked out about and completely in love with is the brand new Sony Alpha A7R, which is the type of thing that I can walk around with all day and it doesn't weigh me down. It's a very natural process where it's like, if I give them a calibrated file, it comes out the way that I want. Uh, I think probably the biggest thing that we noticed on this stuff is we actually, we kind of backed off the traditional sharpening that a lab would normally do. The, the images are so sharp, we looked at and, and basically didn't add the sharpening that you normally do. Uh, so it's like they were a very great partner with that and uh, very responsive in the process.